going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Woods Fishing. Today we're going to be doing the craw versus Sanko challenge. I don't have the craws with me right now. They're in the boat, but I do have the Sankos. We're going to be using the same brand, the same plastic, etc. just to make it fair because I know a lot of you guys think that different brands isn't fair when we do these type of challenges, but we're keeping it the same. We're doing deep creek lures for both of them. So overall, it's going to be very fair. Same exact plastic, same exact scent, etc. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish with each of these in the green pumpkin color for about an hour and the same for black and blue. So we're gonna get out there and we're gonna try to see which one's better. We're gonna time it and see, give them each a fair chance and see which one catches more fish. And if neither of them catch fish, well, then I'm not really sure what to tell you. But if both of them catch a lot of fish, that's good because that means they're both very good. And uh, I believe in deep creek lures 100%, so I think that this will work out good. Um, Stay tuned, hope you enjoy this one. I'll see you guys out on the water. All right guys, we just got out here to the spot that we were fishing at last video. Um, I'm gonna start with the Sanko, probably throw that around for a little while, then switch to the craw and see how that does. Um, we're just gonna fish this little stretch of docks here and then our little spot where lots of the fish seem to be in the spring because that's where the weeds grow first. We're gonna fish that for a little while too. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. I'll put you guys on the chesty and see if I catch any fish. Hopefully we do, stay tuned. Hopefully the audio's good now. We'll see, it's really, it's really uh, hit or miss with this camera, with this GoPro, that's why I'm gonna get a new one because the wind and the, I don't have that adapter anymore, but hopefully we catch some. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna change this to a green pumpkin, actually. Are you throwing black and blue? Black and blue. Okay, so I'll do green pumpkin, and then uh, hopefully we get on some. I'll throw this for about an hour, then I'll switch up to the craw, so stay tuned. All right, so green pumpkin sankles are in the car. That's awesome. We're just gonna use this. It's just got a couple red flakes. Otherwise, it's the exact same. So I'd call it even. Good and I don't know what it is. That one? Yeah. That? Yeah. Solid bass. Nice. Get in there. Yeah, right. that's a good one. Yeah, a chunk. Got him right in the lip. Look at that. Solid. All right, guys, check out that one. How long have we been out here? 10 minutes, five minutes. Just five minutes on the deep creek lures, that green pumpkin Senko. Solid little RG. Let's get the release. Just a nice, fat, healthy fish. Well, that did not take long. Solid little RG on the uh, Deep Creek Lures. Green pumpkin with the little red flake. Sink and catch, so hopefully we get on some more. Stay tuned. Here right, guys, we're gonna switch because the Senko's not catching much at the moment. So we're gonna switch to the craw. So hopefully we catch something and hopefully, uh, Maybe the car will beat the Senko. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Oh, no. That felt like a good one. Dang. Just crushed it. Made the the flange go through the hook. Dang, that thing felt good. Oh, crushed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's a squeak. Ah. 
hook set just right. Check that out. Little guy on the uh, Deep Creek Lures craw, munched it. Get a little shot for you with the big camera, then we'll release him. Little guy on the uh, Deep Creek Lures craw, just choked it as you can see. We're just gonna pop that out and get a release. Really quick, second cast with the craw. So maybe that's the move. Pop it right out. Nice little guy. It's release. Adios. So it's tied one to one already. Ooh, good bass attack. Nice. Yeah, that baby slammed it. Very similar to the ones that we were getting the other day. Mm hmm. This little guy, little chubster. You want a picture with it? Sure. All right. Get the release. And there he goes. All right. Skunk's out of the boat for me. Let's go. Right off the, uh, I can't really call it a point, but like sort of a point. Yeah, there's a little hump according to the graph. Just a little one, right? Oh! Got him? Yep. This is this is nice, whatever this is. Oh gosh. Look at my rod. Dang it. Oh, wait. You got him. I thought that was a pike and I was like, dang it, man. I'm getting out the camera for that one. The craw's winning now. Right on the right on the corner of the lip. Nice largey on the Deep Creek Lures. Katie Bug Craw, I think is what it's called. Get to release on this one now. Right where you want it though, right in the corner of the mouth. So, let's get the release. All oh, these are just so healthy. Whew. Catching these bass. Out here and seven feet of water has been about the average for all the ones we've caught. All I'm doing with these, the cry and the Senko alike, I'm just casting out there, letting it sink to the bottom and do its little thing. Senko has a little wiggly action on the sides, the craw, obviously the pinchers kind of twirl. And then I, once it's on the bottom, I just kind of jig it in or just slowly reel it off the bottom and hop every once in a while. It's been doing all right so far. That's fish number three for me. Um, the craw's winning now, and the Sankos time's already up, so I think it's safe to say that the craw's won the challenge, but nonetheless, we'll keep fishing with it. Maybe switch back to the Sanko, just give it a chance. We'll see how it goes, but you just stay tuned. Crushed it. Crushed it. Just, just hammered. That's a nicer one. Maybe. Oh no, it's about the same actually. Oh. Let's see. Where's the hook? Look at that guy. Just a nice healthy fish. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth, right where you want it. Overall, just a good and See how I did that? Just look at that guy. Get the release on this guy.
Bye bye. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Just want to say thank you so much if you're still watching. I really appreciate it. You are a great viewer if you're still watching. And if you haven't already, if you like this video, join the Woods fam and subscribe down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And drop a comment down below if you want me to do more challenge videos, lures versus lures. Uh, the other day, the crowd won. I'm actually editing up this video right now, and I'm about to go out again, so I just got to finish this up quick. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you haven't already joined the Woods fam, and definitely comment down below some suggestions to do lure versus lure challenges. So the craw beat the Sanko, so I feel like we should do the craw versus something else to see what wins. Um, like I said, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next episode of Woods Fishing. Peace.